Hello everyone, to implement the Firebase authentication to your Flutter project, you have to go to your Firebase project and you have to enable the email and password sign in. Also if you are having any problem to connect your Flutter project with Firebase, then there's already two dedicated video in this channel regarding this. You can watch it. The complete code is in the description. After your project is successfully connected, make the necessary input in your file. In your main function, add the widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize. And I am gonna make a simple UI. I am gonna return the material app and I am going to return the stream builder which will check either it contain the data or not from the firebase. And if it contain the data then we will return the home page and if there is nothing available then we will return the user our login page. If the user has already logged in, then we have to return the user home page. For this, I have made a simple minimalistic UI with only one button, which is the sign out button, which on press will call the Firebase auth dot instant dot sign out, which will sign out our user. After it, we have to redirect our user to a login page, which we can do by writing the navigator dot push replacement. Now for our login page UI, I am going to build a simple minimalistic UI with the two text field and two button sign up and login. For it we have to define the two text editing controller. One is for the password and next one is for the email. So I need a two controller for email and password. Now I need the two text field for the email and password. This is the most minimalistic UI. After the end of two text field, we need our two button in a row. The first one is the sign in button, which I will implement the on press property under the try catch block. There's one method in the Firebase, which is Firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with email and password. We should provide the email and password which is stored in the user credential and if it is matched with the firebase then we will redirect our user to the user home page by simple navigator dot push in the catch statement we are going to catch the error and print it in the console also we need the second button which is the sign up button we have also one method for the sign up which is firebase extends Firebase auth dot instant dot create user with email and password and we have to provide the email and password. Now it's all done and you have successfully implemented your Firebase authentication to your application. Also you don't have to worry about your user session. If you are logged in and your user closes your app and restarting again then user will be still logged in. It means Firebase will handle all your sessions.